I want to go to Capitol Hill right now. Dana Bash, our senior congressional correspondent, is also working the story. He got snubbed big time by uh, House Republicans yesterday. Uh, what's going on today as they get ready for this vote to come up in the U.S. Senate? Well, we're hearing pretty much the same thing in the Senate as the House, but with regard to Republicans, here's the reality. Privately, they admit that politically, this was the best thing for them to do, despite the bad economy, despite the popularity of Barack Obama, that it was in their political interest to vote no. The question is whether Democrats made it easy for them. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi insists passing an 800-plus billion dollar stimulus bill in eight days was pure victory. I take credit. Uh, for the great action taken by the Congress. But to some, the fact that it was so partisan, no Republican votes, suggests the Democratic leadership made some major tactical errors. Even some of Pelosi's fellow Democrats say their own leaders robbed Barack Obama of bipartisanship he preaches by adding too much government spending that won't stimulate the economy. We have a, an amazing situation here. A bold, new, idealistic president who stands for change in an old-fashioned, set-in-its-ways Congress. Pelosi bristles at any suggestion that her leadership caused the partisan divide. I didn't come here to be partisan. I didn't come here to be bipartisan. I came here, as did my colleagues, to be nonpartisan, to work for the American people, to do what is in their interest. But now an even bigger $900 billion stimulus bill moves to the Senate, and Democratic groups are already using campaign tactics to make this vote bipartisan, pressuring several GOP senators with these ads. Tell Congress to support the Obama plan for jobs, not the failed policies of the past. Yet already a dozen GOP senators lined up to voice the same criticisms as their House brethren. Not enough tax cuts and too much spending on programs that won't stimulate the economy. They can cram down a stimulus package without Republican support, but if that happens, then when as we believe, in six months or so, when the American people say, wait a minute, we're, we're not better off. Now, the reality is Senate Republicans will have more of an opportunity to make their ideas heard, to actually have votes on them on the floor of the Senate this week. And the Democratic leader insisted today that he does think that he will get Republican votes at the end of the day in the Senate. But again, it's important to note that even in the Senate, Wolf, it's not just Republicans. We're already talking to Democratic senators who say there's just too much spending, things like $75 million for smoking programs. And uh, we expect the vote on Monday. Is that right, Dana? No, we expect the debate to begin on Monday, and this could go all through next week, maybe even to next weekend. All right, so the, it starts on Monday. All right, thanks very much for clarifying that. Uh, Dana.